but that read is under 24 seconds. For those of you keeping track at home, layup lines for Jackson Center, and they would open up with a drive and a layup. Aiden Riker getting around the defense, putting that one up and in. Cedarville going back and forth in this one, though. Colby Cross answering back with a long pull-up two of his own. This one back and forth early on. Jackson centers now Garrett Heitkamp getting the ball down low and muscles his way up and in for a score. Now Cedarville, Trent Koning makes a nice step back and drains the first three of the game. Jackson Center's Christopher Elkert now finds Garrett Pringer cutting through the middle for the layup. Cedarville's Isaiah Ramey getting his own offensive rebound, and he's going to put that back up for a score. Some more action here down with Jackson Center's. Christopher Elkert makes a long pass to Pringer, and Pringer's three is true. Now Colby Cross putting up an off-balance shot here, and it's going to fall right through with no problem. Now Aiden Reichert, more action for the Tigers, going to size up a defender. Ah, close enough. Three-pointer is good. Coning again for Cedarville. Aggressive with the D here, able to pop the ball loose. Takes it all the way after a little bit of a scrum and gets the two points. Then Reichert continuing his terrific performance with a nice drive. Right here, kind of a fake. Looks like he's going to pass. Score, hoop, and the harm. Jackson Center advances. They win 33-30 to 30 over Cedarville as Region 16 begins to take shape.